What is up everyone? This is Trud and today I'm bringing you some more in-depth details for Dawn Awakening and specifically some lore. And I'll be going over the enemy factions and I'm assuming there are four with the fourth one being not revealed yet and they certainly look impressive in my opinion. Alright, let's begin with the first enemy faction and that is the clowns. And they're literally called the Clown Gang, and they look pretty intimidating to be honest. And if you hate clowns, well, you're definitely up for some scares. Alright, let me give you the background of this gang. And also do note that I'm using Translate, so the details aren't 100% accurate. Some words might be wrong, but you'll get the general idea. So the big guy here is apparently called the Blastron Tavern White, and he leads the gang along with his brother. Moreover, during the apocalypse, he escaped the San Quentin prison and seized the weapons from the guards leading to a riot and eventually overthrowing the prison. So the clowns are also known as the White Brothers, so they gathered all the most serious and strongest prisoners to join them and control a part of the city and whichever materials or valuable items they say is basically theirs and becomes their property. So they basically control a major region and own a part of the resources there by force. Scary guys for sure, but the next details that's given and is prevalent for all three of them are hostile. And maybe the fourth one could be friendly, but we don't know yet. Anyways, the technology level is medium and is same for the, all the factions. And all the factions are also hostile so no friendly factions apart from the ravens are known yet but if you guys know any let me know in the comments below all right next faction or gang you can say is the night owls and they give that goth and punk style aura to me and their background is that these guys are composed of other smaller gangs that were good at modifying vehicles so I'm assuming when you face these guys, you will be looking at some really crazy vehicle modifications. Additionally, these guys make loads of money from manipulating the underground racing ring that happens every late night. But this was before the apocalypse. After this, they went to the central of the city, I guess, where they loot oil and other supplies. So these are the looter faction, I would say. Next. And the final gang is the Sand Eagles. And the first guy is giving out a Mad Max vibe, but these guys are looking fully armored, ready for some action. So these guys are mercenaries with well equipped and extremely powerful weapons. I would not mess with these guys. This faction looks like the strongest enemy faction to be honest, because they are mercenaries, not some clowns or raiders. These guys already know how to shoot weapons and are trained, so I believe this enemy faction could be an endgame faction that you'll fight against. Alright, some more information about this faction is that these guys were originally a private military contractor, which were formed by retired soldiers and special forces with high combat qualities. This basically confirms that this faction is extremely dangerous. These guys know their shit and I would not face them if I had lowered level weapons in here. So they have disappeared for some time once the apocalypse started but have been recently becoming active in the infected area hunting all kinds of infected people and mutants. So this faction is technically doing us some favor by killing those annoying Zeeks. Now the last part is way more interesting and that is that this faction is under the orders of some unknown force. So this faction is not only taking orders from some kind of organization or person but I highly doubt that but here is some of my speculation that is coming to play. Maybe that organization is the one that started the apocalypse or infected the people what do you guys think a PMC that is controlled by a stronger unknown faction organization or a person now that's extremely sus folks let me know what are your thoughts on that and also let me know which faction do you like and obviously 
for me, I like the PMC badasses, with the clowns being my least favorite. Please do like and subscribe because I will be covering Dawn Awakening and for now will be the main game I will cover in this channel. So just hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.